Here's our completed case restoration. I'm glad you all stopped by because the next step is going to be deciding what goes inside this case. Let's take a look at what we've got. First off, we have a CD-ROM rewrite and a floppy drive. This system did not come with an OEM DVD drive, two front-mounted USB 2 ports. We'll pop open the side door of the chassis and take a look at the innards. In true gateway fashion, we have a 160 watt power supply, which we're going to have to bear in mind. Probably no Pentium 4 3.2 gigahertz system in this chassis. We do have, like we said, the CD-ROM rewrite. We have the floppy drive. We have room for hard drive. We have a bay with two slots. We also have an additional uh, five and a quarter and three and a half inch bay. And then what was here originally was a uh, Pentium 4, two gigahertz with IDE only. And I'd sort of like to keep it similar to that. I do welcome community opinion. I will put up a poll as to what you think we should put in this. And I don't know. I wish I could have kept the original motherboard, but it was bad caps as you've seen in this shorts video when I originally found the chassis and system. And we even have and we even have our original Windows XP serial, and then we have the back port. And on the back port, you can see that this come originally with video. The motherboard we put in probably won't have built-in video, but again, I'll give you an option of video cards. So, join in the poll, speak up, and let me know where we should go with this.